Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm, coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. That's what I was pointing to. My office. Who's calling me? Who wants to see me? Oh, hello. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I managed. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's texts, we started sneaking out some neuropathine from oh, one of the labs. Oh, I see. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... It's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book. His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. I don't want to help you, but I need details. What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? Neuropathy. Oh, same. What could you guess? Why do you automatically... Can't get more out of that. Well. Alright. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. Very well. Let's do this. Even though I'm in charge of security, I will make an exception right now to help this one guy. Because he seems to have had a reason aside from pure profit, so. I mean, I'm going to assume it did it for a good reason. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you were, but to me, it's also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. 
And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you, after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I do what I have to do, augmented or not. You seem very pragmatic, Adam. Maybe you should be careful not to trivialize such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved me. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? Of course. No ifs, buts, or maybes. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Right, now I have two side quests and two main quests. Interesting. Money into trash, sure. That's where I work. This is the city. Oh. This game looks great. Here. No, I'm, I'm gonna stay sober. Do this. Hello, sir. Right, right, sir. Right. Thank you. So, let's see what I can find. Not interested in bikes, TVs, phone booths, still got phone booths in the future. Liquor store, alleyway, No, security rating 3 is probably out of Yeah, I figured. So, what should I do? Should I pursue the side quests, or should I... look around and see what I can find? I should probably pursue the side quests, not get too much off track. I can dawdle about later. Once I've got some stuff out of the way. Close that. Uh, I'm not gonna ask. I saw nothing. I saw nothing. Uh, do I have to get up on this? Yeah, probably. Information in Detroit. Okay, 
man, this town is dead. I can just move still down. <laughs> Asking me to pull off a heist, boss, inside a police station. It's gonna take time. Yeah. Right. Well, if you can't talk your way past the lobby, there's gotta be another entrance outside, in back or on the roof. Save the frontal assault as a last resort. Boss, I'm trying to do some other stuff. Please don't hurry me up. Just try to make me hurry. Then I'll just get stressed out and do nothing. Okay, so we're going to S S two. Yeah, yeah, S two first. I think. If I could find out where the fuck it is. Oh, just a breakdown, to dude. Escalator. It's not this way. It's not the station. place looks uh safe you got anything you want to buy or sell i'm the guy you want to deal with everything's on the computer right at your fingertips so what do i have track track pistol ammunition consoles oh uh buy shot triple damage upgrade uh the damage can be going. Oh, sorry. See you soon. Maybe not as soon as you'd like, my man. Maybe not as soon as you like. You see, I don't trust you. Hello? Grayson hooked me up with some real tight perks. Well, if all lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson, right here. Yo, where you been, man? Oh, hey, 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 you do not need to know about this. Hello. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Sarah's headquarters. Oh, boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists. It felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this, this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. 
He won't budge easily. But I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. You might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah. When the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence is stashed in the storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Ah, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. Very well, then. That's all I need for now. Very well, then, man. Uh, I know nothing. Right? Uh, I know absolutely nothing. Okay, so now I'm glad I actually upgraded my hacking skills. Seems I'm gonna be looking into quite a few hard drives. Um, why not? 